Hello everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Decode Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Moreover, uh, we're going to actually have a uh, online judge session. Essentially, it's like you, uh, we give you a few problems for you to solve, and then we have test cases, just kind of like a lead code. And uh, it's all free, so you can just uh, sign up and uh, do solve all the problems. And you, you, if you find um, uh, you want to uh, listen to the solutions uh, of those problems from our instructors so you can pay $79 and then um, you will have a live session with all of our instructors. For more details, feel free to check out our website. Moreover, um, if you would like to receive the latest tech interview news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. Okay, so today we are going to um, talk about a problem called the generator parenthesis. So essentially, this is giving you an pair of parenthesis, and then they want you to write a function to generate all the valid ones. So if, if you solve the previous, like uh, um, how many unique binary uh, trees are there, like structure-wise, structure, structure -wise, so you know this is actually a Caitlin number. And uh, But to generate all this, Caitlin number won't really help you. So essentially, we just uh, do it recursively. So whenever we can insert a left bracket, we just keep inserting the left one. And uh, on le as long as the right bracket is less than the left one, we're just appending the right one. And uh, then we'll have the answer. So let's code this solution up. Okay. Um. We'll do this so as long as this is our end case and we just keep appending left. So essentially what you're gonna do is Put it here so that I don't later on when I recurse return it back I don't need to do anything else. So the solution will still be this. Hmm. 
So let's walk through one test case super quick. For example, n equals 2. For example, n equals to 3. In that case. Mm. So essentially what we have is, for example, all, everything is 0. So essentially, it will insert this, and then we'll get out of it on line 29. And then right is less, less than that, we just keep appending. So this is one of our answers. And then uh, you will exit the function, right? At that case, right is, uh, left is still 3, so right is, uh, right is, uh, When you exit this function, just keep exiting it, right? And then, and then basically you will have a left equals to two part, and then right at this point is less is zero, so zero is less than uh, less than two. So you basically you add this again, so you recursive in, so uh, because left is still less than the number of brackets, so recursive in, and then it's larger than that. And then it will be like this. So this is basically will be your second solution. So so on and so forth. I think this will look correct. Let's take a look. Yep. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.